Hey guys, welcome back to the continuing saga of the Baker Bungalow house build. Uh, this is uh, what I'm going to call Turnover 2.0. Just thought that was kind of catchy, actually. You know how when they do a software update or whatever, they stick that little 2.0 on. You know, our first turnover didn't go to so well. <laughs> Matter of fact, it was kind of a disaster. But uh, since then, uh, the builder has sent a team out. Um, I requested a, a, a different engineer be present. Um, that they have a plan to get these things done quickly. Um, I, I laid out some expectations. Um, and for the most part, they followed them, um, with one or two exceptions. Most of the things that uh, I listed as, as issues uh, have been taken care of. There are still a few lingering things that uh, either got missed or, or weren't done properly. When they put the range hood in, they... Uh, Initially had drilled a hole in the mortar here and had the, had the wire, if you remember, had the wire just hanging out and plugged in here, which that's not, you know, not an acceptable thing. So they've since uh, rewired it. Uh, the wire is no longer visible. They put uh, some, some mortar in here, but they didn't bother to fill this hole or paint it. So every time we turn the vent hood on, uh, sawdust comes out. <laughs> comes out of here so that's got to be taken care of still as well uh, other than that um, and a new a new drip in the uh, canopy cover here we did have a drip here and they repaired that now we've got a new one over here somewhere so uh, th that's it that's all it's left and and uh, I have issues with the driveway um, the driveway was one of those additionals that I had to pay additional money for. Not well done at all. Uh, those of you that are used to driveways in the uh, U.S., you, you would have been shocked at how this was done. I know I was. Of course, it was almost finished by the time I saw it. It is a very thin uh, pour, you, you might say. Um, Rebar was, I do remember seeing pictures of it laying, just laying on the ground. I don't know if they ever raised it when they put the concrete in or not. Again, I wasn't here. So let's go over, this is turn, turn over, turn over 2.0. Let's look at what they did fix. Uh, some of the biggest things that I, you know, are most noticeable is they did finally install the built-in oven. And I, I couldn't, couldn't be happier about that. It was really relatively easy um, for this new uh, engineer to get done. They have replaced these four cabinet doors because they were they were poorly done when they had in, installed the range hood. They one of the doors wouldn't even you couldn't even open. So all that's been repaired. Um, you know, in hindsight, uh, and I know I have no proof of this, but uh, the cabinets that we've had in the past have been. Um, prefabricated a uh, different material this is all wood it was built by hand and I know a um, lot of wood eating pests in the Philippines I don't know if these things will last I hope they do I hope we get a lot of years out of them um, but if they don't and they get uh, you know attacked by termites or whatever it's really the only wood in the house um, we just don't have any other wood except for right here. So if they're gonna do anything, this is where they're gonna do it. <laughs> so we may end up in a, in a couple of years, three years, whatever, if that happens. I'm, I'm, I know I'm, I'm thinking about this probably way too early, but if it does, we will just simply uh, do what I initially wanted anyway, which was prefabricated cabinets. We had uh, <clears throat> some separation between the, uh, on the uh, this is a hardy plank, a cement board on the, on the ceiling, and where they had, uh, where it comes to the wall that you had started to see a little separation. So they have gone through and they have redone all of that and it looks really, really good. Um, here in the powder room, there was, uh, this was left open and they have since uh, mortared that and, and closed it up. So a lot of little things. Um, the grout in here, I don't know if you can see this on the video, but this is supposed to be white. And as you can tell, it is anything but white. And that was strictly due to the fact that 
the floors weren't protected once they were grouted and grout, unless it's sealed, uh, it will absorb every ounce of dirt and whatever that comes into the house. So the uh, guests are not getting the spare CR here. Uh, we had a, a leak or two, and I think we still have a bidet that may be leaking somewhat. Uh, I can I can actually work on that, no problem. But uh, I don't think there's anything else in here that needed to be done. Nothing in the spare bedroom that needed to be done. Uh, the sliding doors <clears throat> and the windows. The uh, and I'm not sure the company's name, but this it's who Tritech hired to do all these. They came in, I'm, I'm very impressed. The, these were all really weak, these, uh, these closures on these doors. Well, they have come in and they have replaced everything. Um, all the closures on all the doors. They went window by window, pane by pane, because we had some water when I was cleaning them one day, water ended up inside the house, which means that there's a penetration point somewhere. They went in and they resealed and re -caulked everything and made sure that all the uh, operations on the windows were working so super pleased with that company i just i don't know their name i know they're i think they're out of the belonga city area um but uh, i met the gentleman i think he may be the owner uh he came and uh and he told me that the the part, some of the parts on these things are made in China and they're just really not well made. So they made sure that uh, everything locks properly and uh, is working. And I, I'm really, really pleased with that. Another big thing that was done, and I, and I can't even tell you because nobody's told me why they only tiled half of the catch basin of the pool. They had the tile. I know I saw it, <laughs> but they didn't use it. Um, but they they did come in and uh, they had a young man working on this for three two or three days he did a great job so now let me flip this around the catch basin here is completely tiled from top to bottom um we basically i was having to put water in this pool every single day and that's because uh, we had exposed concrete and you know concrete absorbs and um since he has done the tile in the in the catch basin properly uh, i have not had to add water one time and that's been in two weeks so i know that was the issue um, and it has been resolved so super excited about that um, another thing that was done was this uh, sewer vent pipe was just left open and they've come back in and they have actually put a proper a cap on on that so that's taken care of so again a lot of little things um, that needed to be done have been done back here on the back let me show you the back wall of the property um, it looked horrible I mean you, you, amateur hour <laughs> for um, I guess the, the the mindset was you don't see it unless you go physically go back here um, so what's the big deal? But I, I, that's not good for me because I'm back here and I see it. And anything that's done should be done right. That's just my opinion. And uh, they did come back. It's, it's greatly improved. Is, is it super beautiful? No. Is it a lot better than it was? Absolutely. Uh, engineer, the new engineer came in and put... This was a beam and it was, it was really ugly. And they've come in and put kind of a concrete uh, fascia, I guess you could say, on it. Removed a lot of the, they were just, I guess, apparently pouring paint over the back of the wall. Because this, this whole area is just full of construction trash. And I have been down here spending four days now uh, brush cutting this. And I've already had one wire go through my foot. Been hitting the face and the glasses uh, with everything you can think of. They just uh, dumped everything back here. And you couldn't see it because of the, the overgrowth. But now that I'm cutting it all down, uh, I've been able to, to see just, I had to stop using my blade and start using the twine because the blade, after the wire went through my foot, um, that's when I decided to use a different uh, attachment on my brush hog. So I'm still getting construction trash, uh, lots of concrete and, and wire and, 
I've even had paint rollers and of course lots of food cans and things. None of that was here when we bought the property, obviously. This was a rice field. And, uh, but uh, I'm, we're getting it all done. Back on track. So they, they, they've done a good job of uh, kind of redoing these walls. This, this wall looked horrible. They had all kinds of stuff poured down the back of it. And the new engineer went back in here and removed all of it and made it look a lot better. The same thing with this. There were, there were areas that were uh, smooth skim coat and areas that were not. And they've come in and made sure everything was smooth and repainted it as well. Something else they did that I'm very grateful for. It was not on my list and I had been dealing with it for weeks since we moved in. And that's the, the well pump. Uh, they had the pressure uh, mechanism, pressure gauge, and everything out here. And we were having lots of issues with our well pump, but they, the engineer had a, had a guy rewire it and put it into the pump room. And we, we've not had a problem since. So uh, fingers crossed. I'm hoping what, the thing, that what he did was uh, what it's gonna take to uh, finally take care of that issue. Uh, I had spent quite a bit of money and time uh, working on that pump, and uh, he very quickly diagnosed the issue and, and, and got it fixed, so super grateful for that. The last and probably the biggest thing, one of the biggest things was the CR in the master bathroom. I was, saying I was unhappy was <laughs> probably an understatement. Um, this is the new product. I don't know if you'll remember or not, but we, they had done some kind of little tiny cabinet, put this big old sink sitting on top of it, didn't have any counter space, had a big old gap over here, gap over here. The, the only issue still here is this, it's a light. Where the power comes out of the wall is on this end of this light fixture, so they were not able to center it, and honestly, it doesn't bother me. I'm, I don't have an issue with it, but they totally ripped all of that off the wall like I told you needed to happen. And they redid all this cabinet, made it bigger, made it nicer looking. It looks professional. They actually built this and um, painted it to look like wood, which was what we were supposed to have had anyway. So yeah, that, uh, that's been a good thing. The only thing still remaining in here, like I said, there's a small leak where the drain goes into the wall. And this is an issue, and I have brought it up to the architect. But this water is all supposed to go that way to the drain. It goes this way just fine, but then it pulls up all along that wall. So there's no slope to the drain on this side, and there should be. So I brought that up to their attention, and uh, hopefully that'll get resolved soon as well. That's really it. I can't think of anything else that was on my list of things. So, um, if on a scale of one to 100%, I'm about 95% satisfied. We got a few things left that need to be tweaked. I'm not sure when they're coming back. I hadn't heard from them this week. Um, but we're almost there. We're almost to the finish line. I'm ready to be finished. I know they are. Everybody is. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. We're going to cut this off right here and I'm not saying another word. It's 16 minutes, 22 seconds. I'm done. Have a great day. The good. The bad. The Philippines.